Now you're talking to the off season, just like how much you loved being here and you know, just your time here so far, just going to the walk of champions for the first time. Just how was it? It was crazy. Like in my old school, we had some similar, but it wasn't as long or as deep, deep as in like amount of people there and the engagement, like it was amazing. Like I came across some fans who was really excited to see us play. Like actually before we even playing, like just to see us like, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? It's time for, it made me even hit another gear. Like I'm already locked in, but seeing that was like, okay, like let's go. It's time for, you know what I'm saying? So it, it's amazing. Like, How would you kind of evaluate how the passing game worked in week one and what are you guys kind of working on to improve for week two? Uh, week one, I wouldn't say like they came, they was doing, um, I say uh, more than what we was expecting. So like we had to make a lot of in-game adjustments, you know what I'm saying? So we, last week, not no no knock to us, we still like, you know what I'm saying, finding each other, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure y'all see what's going around in the media with the quarterback conversations and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? So everything, we were just getting acclimated with each other and just trying to figure out like how we gonna go about things. We still finding our identity as we, you know what I'm saying, as the games go on, you know what I'm saying? What is that identity you guys are trying to build? Score from far, make make plays. I got oh y'all can't see it. Say Ole Miss wide receiver, twenty two playmakers. Like you know what I'm saying. We make plays. Whenever the ball get in our hand, we trying to make a play. No matter short throw, long throw, handoff, mesh, anything. We try to make plays. So our identity would definitely be playmakers. Uh, you talked about the quarterback situation. You getting acclimated. You're gonna have Luke start this week's game. I mean, when it comes to having to get acclimated to a new guy back there in a game, uh, not against y'all in a fall camp. I mean, what's the challenges in having a different guy that you had the week before? I feel like I can speak for every receiver and running back. When I say this right here, like for us, it really doesn't even matter which quarterback is in the game. Like both of them can go. Like whenever we we clicking and we going, we're going, you know what I'm saying? So it ain't like, oh, when he in, he, he make these type of throws. And when he in, he make these type of throws. And I was like, whoever in, they making throws, we making plays, we making reads, you know what I'm saying? So it's not it's not like a uh it's Luke this week, so now we gotta play a little nah, it's like, hey, you know the mission, playmaker, score for far, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it's the same thing. It seems like on that first third down they deliberately isolated you on that RPO. Did you kinda have a feeling pre snap that the ball was coming to you? Yeah, it's definitely a pre snap read, so I don't want to give out all the keys, but you know what I'm saying? It, it's pre-snap read. You got a good good feeling with your quarterback. You know, these are things we work in practice. So it's just like things we work in practice translated to the game. So it was like, all right, you know what I'm saying? That's why it happened in rhythm like that because we worked that. You know what I'm saying? For you, how did you feel kind of getting that? You know, got that first game kind of out of the way. Just you feel like you're you're in a rhythm now? Or? Man, what? It felt so good because I, I don't know if y'all know, like, everything to my story, but I left like last year in the third game of the season. So I ain't played no real ball since then. So really my first play touching the, touching the ground, I was like, oh, I'm out here. You know what I'm saying? It felt, it, it felt real good. You know what I'm saying? And then for me to get that first catch, it felt even better. Like took every, it just felt like, whew, like, you know what I'm saying? Going off, off my body. So it was very exciting, great feeling for me. And I know my family back home was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, so yeah. Whether it be in the, uh, on the field or on the sideline, was there a particular play that stood out Saturday? Mm. Ooh. Uh, I caught a, a slant, but I was supposed to be blocking, you know what I'm saying? But we, we, we all like this. We Like I said, we all connected, you know what I'm saying? We real on, on the same page. So even though I was blocking, he pulled and threw it, but he had trust and faith in me, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, we're going to catch the ball. So I didn't know what was going on, but I seen him load up. I'm like, okay catch you feel me so that that was wild it was wild to everyone because it wasn't even supposed to be a pass play but it was what it is you know what i'm saying more stat line for me you know what i'm saying i ain't complaining how do you train yourself to keep your head on a swivel like that is that just reps how, how do you do that you kind of you 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 get a, you get a feel for the game in your offense so it's like you be looking for certain things and that particular play i, I was I had to have my head on the swivel. Like, I was looking for him and then looking for this, but it ain't sure. So I'm just, you know what I'm saying? And I just kind of got a little feeling, like a little little tingly feeling. I just, oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sure, thank y'all.